Kirk McCullough here from Leewood, Kansas, to talk about the use of cellularity's interfill as it relates to a complex case of Achilles insertional tendinopathy. This was a 61-year-old female with chronic non-insertional Achilles tendinosis. She'd had no conservative treatments that had provided any effective relief and was tired of aching pain intermittently with daily activities and wanted to get back to more progressive impact activity. On physical exam, she had no significant difference in dorsiflexion compared to the opposite and focal tenderness and a clear palpable thickening of the tendon above the insertion. So even though this is a lateral radiograph, you can clearly see the amount of thickening of that non-insertional Achilles tissue compared to even distally at the insertion. This is now a look at a axial MRI view where you can clearly see that there is intrasubstance degeneration and tearing as well as thickening of the overall the overall tendon, as well as this sagittal view, which shows the same. So with this, and given the chronicity of it, certainly a debridement was indicated, but part of the concerns, as we've discussed before, is as we go in and we open this meticulously and then clean out all of this diseased tissue, what is going to fill in that defect that's created, particularly as the fact that this is a very irregular surface that needs to fill in. Arguably, the use of interfill in this case, compared to simply getting a platelet plug and fibrin-based scar, Using that interfill as a basement membrane type scaffold for the cells recruited the area to heal, we then injected that deep within the repair. We then closed the tendon over the top that you can see here. Then once again, performed a, a peritinon repair, but then in between that peritinon and the tendon, because of the interdigitating nature of the flowable interfill, it was able to fill in that gap. And you can see the peritinon closure there. And then once again, in between the deep dermal closure and the peritinon, this is how she then looked at seven days and then at four weeks, and then ultimately proceeded to return to her normal function without any issues with that Achilles. So in conclusion, there's continued need for better wound options, particularly with high-risk wounds, and certainly revision surgical situations. Certainly the foot and ankle surgery patients are not immune, and it's time to get on board with all of the ophthalmologic and general surgical colleagues which have been using these products for years, certainly in wound clinics. The use of biologics continues to grow, and patients are always looking for enhancements. Research continues to be published, and certainly foot and ankle is leading the way because the link to wounds has provided the opportunity orthopedic intervention applications in other anatomic regions are available at our disposal. Thank you very much.